gonna do today? We're gonna learn uh -huh. and play. Okay. Sing a song and pray. That's right. God really loves us. God really, really cares about you, me, our families. That's right. God's always right there. Woo! Let me fix my curls. You've tuned into Cali's world. That's right, boys and girls. Welcome to Cali's world. Oh, hello, friends. Hi there. It's Christmas time. And I have been spending a lot of time at my church. There's so much to do! That's right! We squirrels are busy around Christmas too! Collecting acorns, eating acorns, collecting more acorns, eating more acorns. Oh, and then collecting more acorns and eating them! Sounds yummy! I've never eaten an acorn before! They're delicious! If you say so, why are you collecting and eating so much? It's all about timing, Callie! We squirrels have to eat a whole lot! and build a really warm nest just in time for winter. Oh, just thinking of my cozy nest makes me kinda, kinda. Chip, Chip, wake up! S sweet acorns, I'm awake, I'm awake. Good, because we have to practice. Speaking of timing, Chip and I are performing a Christmas tambourine duet on Christmas Eve at church. I've got the music here, and here are our tambourines. We'll start on my count. And one, and two, and one, two, three. What happened? I went on your count. Oh, my fault. I didn't say what count. No wonder the timing was off. We'll go on four, okay? Got it. And one, and two, and one, two, three. What happened that time? I just felt like I was waiting a really long time. How about I start on three and you start on four? Then the timing would be off for the whole thing. Really? Yes, really. Acorns, I guess timing is really important. Yes, just like squirrels preparing for winter at just the right time. Timing is everything. For squirrels. And for tambourines. Maybe for other things too. Let's check out our Bible story for today. Today's Bible story comes from Luke chapter one. Long ago, God promised to send a savior that would help the whole world be right again and help us be forgiven. Little did everyone know that God would send Jesus, the savior, to earth as a baby. The angel Gabriel gave this good news to a woman named Mary. Mary would be the one to have Jesus as a baby. But even before Mary was told that she would have a baby, Gabriel had another baby announcement to make. Zechariah and Elizabeth loved God. They spent time serving and trusting God faithfully. Zechariah and Elizabeth were very old now and they didn't have any children. One day, when Zechariah was working in the temple, Gabriel came to talk to him. Zechariah was incredibly shocked and scared when he saw the angel, but Gabriel told him not to be afraid. God heard him and Elizabeth's prayers asking for a baby. Gabriel told him that Elizabeth would have a baby boy. They should name their son John. Gabriel told Zechariah how John would bring joy to many people because he would help people get to know God more. Zechariah didn't believe God's good news. Because of this, Gabriel said Zechariah would not be able to talk out loud until his baby was born. Just as God planned, Elizabeth became pregnant. When John was born, Zechariah was finally able to speak again. He used his words to praise God. God brought joy to Zechariah and Elizabeth's story. You might think that Zechariah and Elizabeth having a baby when they're very old was bad timing, but it wasn't. Because not too long after John was born, Jesus was also born. The timing was perfect. John would spend his whole life getting people ready for Jesus. God sent Jesus at the perfect time. Waiting for the right timing is really hard. Oh, I know. Waiting to open presents on Christmas morning? And waiting to give gifts to people that I know they're gonna love? Almost impossible! But it helps to know that my parents and little bro are awesome! And I know they love me so much! Acorns, maybe it's the same for God's timing. Waiting for God's timing is not easy. But God always gives us the perfect thing at the perfect time. Lucky in the story! Absolutely! That's because God loves us. God sent baby John to Zachariah and Elizabeth at the right time. And God did that to get the world ready for Jesus 
at the right time. Righto, my friend. Our Bible story helped us see that timing is very important. You ready to try out our timing on the tambourines? And a one, and a two, and a one, two, three, four! That was like a little slice of Christmas fun! No, that was good timing. Perfect timing! God sent Jesus at the perfect time. Thanks for learning and growing with us. Peace out!